hi guys in this video i'm going to be showing you all of my art supplies collection so first up in order to do your artwork you need a sketchbook or an art book you can opt for an a4 sized sketchbook or an a3 size sketchbook like this one a3 is bigger than a4 so let's move on to the first criteria of the video which is painting supplies here we have the acrylic colors which is from fevigril i personally feel that fevigril and faber castell are really good makers of acrylic colors this box comes in 10 shades and it is really smooth when applied directly or if you even convert it into a tint or a shade the color pots are also sold separately the next one are the fabric colors from favor castell and unlike the acrylic colors this does not dissolve or wear off when it comes to contact with water these are equally smooth and really fun to use as the acrylic colors the next one is something i'm really excited to use i haven't used it yet these are the neon colors from fevigril they are so bright and exotic i just love it i can't wait to use them look at that neon pink it's absolutely amazing next one is fevicryl's pearl metallic kit unlike the other fabric color this doesn't require the cloth to be ironed i really love the golden and bronze spot it absolutely transforms your diy or the craft work that you create this one is the mini tubs from Camelin. These are really cute and these are as effective as the acrylic colors though they are just the water colors. They are so cute. The next one is probably one of my favorites though it is like really small. This one is from the Doms and these are water colors and even these work equally effective as the acrylic colors and as you can see by the palette condition i have been using this a lot and it is of really good quality i do have some glass painting uh, supplies but i'm not someone who does it when you use a palette please do make sure to maintain it otherwise it will look gorgeous like this <laughs> otherwise you can buy a palette with actual colors so that when you finish it off you can use it as a palette for mixing colors how genius is that The second criteria is sketch pens. So sketch pens are also my favorite thing to be used. Look at that. So Faber Castell launched these connector sketch pens which can also be used for playing like Legos as shown in the picture and they have a wide range of colors so one packet is all that you need the luxur color pens and there is a chinese stationery called the barbie which has this set of sketch pens obviously i bought it for the packaging you guys know that i'm a sucker for packaging and these on the contrary work really well they are of good quality i 
also stored some extra sketch pens in this cute organizer the next criteria is oil pastels and crayons which is my absolute favorite of all the art supplies i don't know why crayons and oil pastels are underrated and they are only meant for the kids to be used when i say i want to draw something in crayons or i want to do something in crayons people are always thinking that i am sounding so childish but i think crayons are the best uh, when it comes to drawing these oil pastels from faber castell are just killing me right now Faber Castell is once again proving that they have a wide range of colors right from their acrylic colors, their oil pastels, their connector sketch pens, you name it, they have it. And the neon version of their acrylics and sketch pens and oil pastels are my absolute favorite and that is something that I'm showing you throughout this video because I really love it. Hello Neon is gorgeous. The difference between the oil pastels and wax crayons which I have encountered is that wax crayons does not shed as much as the oil pastels while you draw but an adult should always use an oil pastel it doesn't matter how it is shaped uh, but wax crayons is relatively easier to use than oil pastel but i would prefer oil pastel at any point of time i think the wax crayons might be for the kids for their usage uh, though it's not bad i would definitely recommend an adult to buy oil pastels instead of wax crayon the packaging comes with these uh, stands which you can layer it on your desk and you can easily grab it and use it for your artwork it's that convenient the next one is uh, plastic crayons uh, plastic crayons are something which does not shed at all while you draw so there are two types which is the Artica plastic crayon and the other one uh, which can be sharpened and can be erased. One of the disadvantages of plastic crayons is that if you use oil pastels you can be more creative, you can smudge it, you can uh, do paintings with it and all that. But when it comes to plastic crayons you can just only color it though it can be erased and sharpened and stuff uh, i think once again i would prefer oil pastels but in general crayons is my absolute fave when it comes to art and drawings and today guys we are celebrating 200 subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet please do go subscribe and press that bell notification button so that you will receive all the notifications regarding my videos let me know on how art supplies makes you feel in general do you collect art supplies and does it feel therapeutic and don't forget to like the video and share the video so the next category is color pencils i have the mini ones and the tall ones <laughs> so color pencils are something which you can use for the outline and in general they are amazing as well like the crayons buy a mini 
color pencil packet so that you get this holder a pencil holder so that you can use your pencil till the end of it painting brushes are from Faber Castell as well and I do have a couple of Camlin uh, painting brushes I love the square shaped painting brush specifically because it is easy to use and really gives you that nice finish to any drawing painting brushes are also to be maintained like the palettes otherwise it could get really messy as well and since I encountered these brush pens I have not looked back at the painting brushes because brush pens are something which is really convenient you need not uh, get water all the time in order to do the mixing basically you open the tube and you fill it with water and you close the pen So you can basically squeeze some water from the pen and you can dip it on your favorite color and you can convert it into a tint or a shade accordingly. These are perfect for painting sceneries and giving those uh, shades of light and dark colors but the disadvantage is that you need to have a brush pen for one single color you do not want to mix all the colors in one pen if you're um, able to maintain it then you can go for mixing all the colors in one pen otherwise it can get really nasty like this one and it will be difficult for you to squeeze the water but there will be nothing wrong regarding the painting experience the next one is the faber castells pencils which is used for sketching and here i have a range of b pencils and h pencils the h pencils can be used to draw the basic outline or the base of your picture and the b pencils are used for the shading techniques to make it look darker or lighter accordingly for any pencil sketch that you make they range from b to 9b and from h to 9h and in the middle you have hb as well which we basically use for our daily purposes the next one is a spray paint which you might have seen um, people use it for graffiti to paint on the walls but it is a really good one to use for your DIY and craft work and especially if you want to give a makeover to anything it might be a furniture or a vase next one is the color splash this is basically used to transform a white paper into the designated color and it gives that crushed look of a paper which is perfect for crafting making gift wrappers and such so hope you enjoyed all of my art supplies collection thanks for watching please do subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye